after I graduated college, this is around 2010, I was living with my parents and I had a teaching degree but no teaching prospects and I found an ad um, placed for a cello player for a folk band. And I met these two guys from New Jersey. It was just kind of a good fit. I, I didn't have a lot of expectations for it and so that was 2010 and by 2012 we were nominated for a couple Grammys touring the world and I spent about eight years doing that with them. school in Greeley, Colorado at the University of Northern Colorado and I stumbled into their history museum one day and came across this story about this woman who famously killed 140 rattlesnakes um, in the 1920s. It was something that really stuck with me. I got pretty obsessed with her. She was a woman who lived really outside of the box of what it meant to be feminine and um, I just felt really inspired by her kind of, uh, her gall. I have learned so much writing my first musical, Rattlesnake Kate. I think what's interesting about writing for a musical is everything is so intentional. I think when you're just kind of writing songs, pop songs and that kind of thing, you want these really good hooks that make them memorable. But in a musical, you want that, but also to be able to relay information. And the other thing that I've really loved and is, has been kind of a discovery is just how collaborative theater is. Not everything kind of lands on your shoulders as a songwriter. It's been really fun to just kind of be the composer for this project and um, get to focus on just being creative. I took my coat clothes. I am a born and raised Colorado native. I've lived my whole life here. And I think it's a place that, you know, it has this sort of feel of hope and opportunity that it had when it was started as part of this Western movement. But here in sort of current day Colorado, I think it's full of really friendly, welcoming people. The sun shines 300 days of the year. The secret's out, but it's a really, really pleasant place to live. <laughs> Rattlesnake Kate is a really important story to share. We have so many stories about cowboys and kind of these men that settled in the West, and we don't have a lot of stories about women. And as I've learned about Rattlesnake Kate, I've also learned about these other female homesteaders that I think there's a lot of, of stories and a lot of room for those kinds of stories that haven't been told. California wants for you. I think the Denver Center is so vital to a city like Denver. I know I grew up coming to shows here and falling in love with theater because of all the touring Broadway shows that came through. And, you know, especially I think De the Denver Center has really made an effort to tell local stories and stories about marginalized folks that, that maybe aren't being told everywhere. Um, and so I think it's, it's, really, it's really vital to our community. Hello.